Infection control. Nurses are involved in providing a biologically safe environment and promoting health. Microorganisms exist everywhere in the environment, in water, soil and body surfaces such as skin, intestinal tract, and other areas open to the outside. Normal body defense. Individuals normally have defenses that protect the body from infection. These defenses can be categorized as nonspecific and specific. Specific defenses. Specific defenses are directed against identifiable bacteria, viruses, fungi, or other infectious agents. Specific defenses of the body involve the immune system, which responds to foreign protein in the body or, in some cases, even the body's own proteins. Immunity is the specific resistance of the body to infection. There are two major types of immunity, active and passive. In active immunity, the host produces its own antibodies in response to natural antigens such as infection or artificial antigens such as vaccines. With passive immunity, the host receives natural antibodies from a nursing mother or artificial antibodies from an injection of immune serum produced by another source. Nonspecific defenses. Nonspecific defenses protect the person against all microorganisms, regardless of prior exposure. Nonspecific defenses include anatomic and physiologic barriers such as the skin and mucous membranes, our body's first line of defense against microorganisms. Inflammation. Inflammation is a local and nonspecific defense response of the tissues to injury or infection. It is an adaptive mechanism that destroys or dilutes the injurious agent, prevents further spread injury, and promotes the repair of damaged tissue. Inflammation is characterized by the following classic signs and symptoms. 1. Pain. 2. Swelling. 3. Redness. 4. Heat. 5. Impaired function of the part affected if the injury is severe. Infection. An infection is an invasion of the body tissue by microorganisms and their proliferation there. Such a microorganism is called infection's agent. Pathogen city. Pathogenicity is the ability to produce disease. Therefore, a pathogen is a microorganism that causes disease. A, a true a pathogen causes disease or infection in a healthy individual. Opportunistic pathogen. An opportunistic pathogen causes disease only in a susceptible individual. Etiology. Etiology is the study of causes. For example, the etiology of an infectious process is the identification of the invading microorganisms. Chain of infection. There are six links in the chain of infection. 1. The infectious agent, or microorganism. 2. The reservoir, the place where the organism naturally resides. 3. Portal of exist from reservoir. 4. Method of transmission. 5. Portal of entry into the host. 6. Susceptibility of the host. Conditions predisposing to infection. Certain conditions and invasive techniques predispose a person to infection because the integrity of the skin is broken or the illness itself establishes a climate favorable for the infectious process to occur. Among the most common are surgical wounds, changes in the antibacterial immune system, or alterations to the body. Nosocomial infection Nosocomial infections are infections that are acquired while the client is in the hospital, infections that were not present or incubating at the time of admission. Standard precautions. 
standard precaution is also called universal precautions. These were instituted as a result of the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, epidemic. Blood and body fluid precautions were practiced on all clients regardless of their potential infectious state. Patients in hospitals, regardless of their diagnosis or presumed infection status. The new standard precautions apply to blood, all body fluids, secretions, and excretions, whether or not they contain visible blood, non-intact skin, and mucous membrane. Certain fundamental principles should be applied to all clients. These include hand washing, use of gloves, proper placement of clients in hospital to prevent spread of microorganisms to others or to the client, and appropriate use of isolation equipment to prevent the spread of microorganisms to healthcare workers and other clients.